Hello everyone, I'm Oscar Montenegro, your host of Professionals in My Car. If you or your business has a leadership challenge, I'd like to hear from you. I love hearing from my viewers and taking questions. If you need one-on-one -on -one support or would like to take your business to the next level, I do offer coaching services. Please reach out to me at oscar at aspenbusinessgroup.com. Let's go. Professionals in my car. I'm your host, Oscar Montenegro. Today I have Coach Mike Dabini, head coach of women's soccer at Kansas State University. Coach, thanks for getting in the hot seat. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Let's get right into it. All right. So tell us, what kind of leadership competencies does one need to be a leader in your profession? You know, um, obviously patience is the key. Um, however, there's a lot of things that um, you can do as a leader and leading, um, you know, being a very good listener, uh, being a very good communicator, being able to develop players, develop your coaching staff and your, your uh, support staff. And um, another important key is obviously the relationship building throughout the process. Yeah, this is uh, a common theme in leadership is being able to build relationships and have connections. So what does it take to be a leader of people um, in this pr profession, meaning how do you get your players or staff to execute on the common goals of the team? That's a good question. You know, um, I feel it's important that, you know, you build a togetherness from the beginning, um, allowing your leaders, your captains, your coaching staff to buy in um, by allowing them to help you set the goals and set the expectations, gives them some ownership to the program. And when you do that, it allows them to obviously execute at a higher level and execute the plan. And, and so this ownership is really the key is what you're saying. Yeah. So it's about us, not me. Sure. And when you do that and you allow others um, to bring their strengths to the table, I think, I think you're looking for a good product. Excellent. And so what does it take to, um, I guess, what leadership qualities do you need as a, as a coach to develop other coaches in your profession? Ooh, ask me these tough questions. <laughs> you know, I, I've been known <clears throat> to always have the ability to adapt um, in every circumstance. Um, always, not, you know, trying to anticipate and not react to situations. Those are important factors. But I think, you know, the other important thing is um, analyzing and being a really good problem solver. I think those are keys. You know, our coaching staff is made up of a lot of different qualities. When I surrounded myself with my coaching staff, I, I looked for areas uh, where I wasn't maybe necessarily as good as I could be and hiring coaching staff um, that can compliment me and help mm, me out and support sure. me, but obviously being loyal and so on. Sure. And I think we've done that here at Kansas State. Excellent. And so finally, what can people do starting today to get on the path of effective leadership? You know, that's a very important question. And I think uh, relationship building is the key to success. And what I mean by that is I always tell my student athletes, my support staff and my colleagues that you always want to treat everyone as like, like it's the last time you're going to see them. You can do that. It becomes contagious. And, you know, um, that's what we're all about, building that culture of being positive um, and contagious at the same time. Coach, excellent. Thank you very much again for getting in the hot seat. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It was me. nice to see you. Likewise. We'll see you soon. Thank you.